All right, before we proceed any further, I do want to talk about one last thing. And that is that when we do get posts, which is an authenticated route, so it requires you to be logged in to retrieve the posts. Uh, if I try to retrieve the posts, you'll see I get posts from every user. Now, this may or may not be the result that you want, right? It's going to depend on what your application is going to work, uh, look like. Uh, you know, if this is like a, you know, like a note taking app or something where all of your posts and things like that are all private, then you wouldn't want to return everyone else's posts. You'd only want to return the user the user specific post. However, if this is some kind of social media app, right, then obviously your posts are public. So when you do get post, you'd want to return everyone's posts. And so it really just comes down to how you want your app to, to function. I'm going to show you guys what you would need to change if you wanted to make it so that you returned your only your own posts. But after afterwards, uh, we're going to actually delete those changes because I want to leave my app like this. This is kind of how I wanted it to work more like a social media app. But I do want to make sure that you guys understood how to make this change. And the same thing would go for get one post. We want to make sure that only the user that created a post can retrieve that specific post. And so if we go back to our path operation for getting all posts, you could see that we just do a db.query uh, dot all. And so if you only want to return the posts for a specific user that's logged in, it's very simple. All we have to do is do a filter. And here we'll say models dot post dot ID equals equals. And then we just get the current user's ID. And it looks like I still left this as user ID. So this should actually be updated to be current underscore user. And if you notice the, you can see that the type is set to int, even though it's actually returning an entire user object. I found that this, whatever type you put here doesn't actually impact the code. So put whatever you want. You can put in a, you know, some sort of dictionary that actually correctly matches it. Um, but you could just leave it as well. So I'm just going to leave it like that. It doesn't break any logic. Uh, and then at this point, I believe I'm still logged in as user 23. If I try to retrieve all posts, it uh, looks like I got nothing. And that could be a little bit of a problem. So let's see what we broke. And the easiest way to kind of troubleshoot this is what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove the dot all. So that's going to return the query. It just won't actually run the query. And I'm just going to print the query. Let's see what that looks like. Sometimes it helps to see the raw SQL. So let's hit send. All right, we should get an internal server error that's to be expected. But I just want to see my print statement. All right, so let's see our, our print statement. So select, we're getting all of the columns that's expected from posts where posts ID equals this value. So that looks like it's perfect. Well, let's just quickly see. Um, before we move any further, uh, what exactly is my user ID? And we'll just check our database. Okay, and we'll run this again. And then we're going to check. All right, so 23. And then if we go to our database, and I realized the exact mistake that I made, and this is a stupid mistake. Right. This is this is looking for a post with an ID with this specific ID. We don't want the the ID of the post. We want the owner ID. So we'll do owner underscore ID equals current user ID. All right. Let's test this out now. Once again, an error. But I just realized I forgot to update this to be dot all. And then we'll try this again. And now we get all the posts with an ID of 23. If I log in as a different user, let's say uh, this is Sanjeev1, I'll log in. That should update the token. So now if I do a get all posts, it should return all posts with an ID of 21. And so that's, that's how that works. And then if you want to see how that looks like for retrieving an individual post, we'll go to get uh, underscore post. And to actually handle this logic, it's going to be the same thing as a delete. So you can just copy what we did for the delete one. And here I can just say post.owner. And this should do the same exact thing. So now if I do get one post, well, first of all, let's take a look at all of our posts. Actually, I'm going to do it in our database. So I'm logged in as user 21. 
So I should be able to access a post with four, but I can't access a post with an ID of 10. So let's try 10. Am I able to access him? Not authorized. Let's try ID of four. And I can get that one. So that's how that works. But like I said, I don't want my application to work like that. So I'm going to remove that functionality. I'm going to make all posts essentially public. And then we're going to remove this filter. And I'll remove this print statement and this print statement just to clean things up a bit. And let's just double check that we didn't break anything once again. So let's get all posts. We get all posts. And let's get an individual post, regardless of who owns it. And that's all fine and dandy now.